do you have a joint account if you're married do you have a joint account we do always have had but uh, that could be a thing of the past apparently just people don't trust each other anymore do they jasmine bertles is with us financial expert and founder of moneymagpie.com hello jasmine hello there hello um so w- we don't trust our partners or our husbands or wives enough to have a joint account it would seem you've done some research what did you, what did you find out Yes, absolutely. Well, um, we we did find that that um, fewer and fewer people now are are bothering to to have these um, joint accounts, um, and, and this is from um, some research that we did at Money Magpie actually, um, and. I, th- this is it was really based on on sort of empirical research i did that just um, most of my friends uh, seemed not to have a, a joint account and uh, so i thought oh let, let's see how many um it's actually happening um and it really it's it's you know close to around 70 percent certainly um are, are not bothering um to do that they're having their own they're just keeping separate Which is all very well until um, you get a little bit older and you've got kids and it's all going to go into one pot anyway, quite frankly, isn't it? Mm. Well, a lot of the time it is. And and this is is the tricky part. It's, it's, as you say, when you have kids, when one of you stops working and then you have to decide how are you going to do things. And there isn't a a, a one size fits all for everybody. Um, Some some people say, well, we just have the one account and, you know, take out what you want. Um, Some people that, you know, if it's the woman's given up work, she, she likes to have if you like a salary so you know she gets given a certain amount yeah and a go away um, fund you know, yeah, <laughs> you away fund. <laughs> yeah it's a nice way so of putting many, it <laughs> <laughs> there are so many who have a running away fund i'm amazed at the number of <laughs> women particularly they have a running away Strange fund. That. yes yeah funny i don't know why <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so uh, all right that's the uh, that's the future of joint accounts if there is mm-hmm. one uh, thanks for that jasmine now um there's some uh, things around our house that we should pay a little bit more attention to than uh, than, than than we think tell us about that yeah yeah, absolutely. Now, this is this is from Gumtree, who's, uh, you know, I suppose quite obviously they, they say that we should be looking at um, things around our house that we could potentially sell. Not now, but later. And, and the thing is that there are all sorts of things that we don't, we have that we don't realise are actually collectibles. I mean, for a start, Lego. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've got an article, um, I've done a few articles on Lego, how it's actually outperformed the, the stock market in <laughs> some ways. Yes, it's amazing. Um, I mean, the ideal, really, if, if you've got children, if you want to make your children children rich later on is to give them a really miserable childhood what you do is you you buy boxes of lego things like that show them the box go look here's a box of lego i've bought you i'm now going to put it in the loft you're not going to play with it because we have to keep it all nice and in the box and in 10 20 years you'll thank me because it'll be worth oh 10 20 times what it is at the moment and keep the packaging on, li- on exactly on stuff like that because that's always uh, as my, my brother buys and sells what i think is junk but he thinks is fantastically mm-hmm. valuable he does rather well out of it um yes. so so, exactly, yes, it's yes. tat. A lot of it is actually genuinely tat. I, I think that you know, but no, it, it, it's small fig- plastic figurines, that sort of thing. I did um, something for Gold TV recently where we we looked at how how much um, Del Boy and, and Rodney would be worth nowadays, and I was amazed. Was you know, some you? of the things. Yeah, and and so for example, um, it, Uncle Albert's silver um, silver cigarette case from the Zulu war was worth 150 pounds but so was Del Boy's 1981 Casio watch you know plastic Casio that was worth 150 quid so yes quite it's amazing listen Jasmine thank you for that look just 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 briefly uh, petrol Mm. prices I've been reading about you know about these sorts of things are our Mm. petrol prices going to be going up well that's what they're saying because of tropical storm Harvey so Basically, as you know, things things get more expensive when when they're more r- rare, when it's harder to get them. And H- Tropical Storm Harvey has harmed petrol production, oil production in in Texas. Well, no, in in Houston, around that sort of area. Um, so that's made it a bit harder to get the oil. So it's likely to affect oil prices across the globe including our oil prices so the price of petrol at the pump is likely to go up they're saying it seems like uh, a while since we talked about that jasmine thank you Mm. very much indeed nice talking with you jasmine bertles with all things personal finance